Okay, so for our next demo, we're going to be using some of our new stamps. This is our new tree, and we're going to be using some of our new hairs that, um, that I thought would be quite nice for Easter. So let's bob those back down. And we're going to start with Artichoke Colour Box, inking up with the brayer, we're going to transfer this time onto our round gel press. This is the larger one. I think it's the um, the six by six. Okay. And then taking our brushos that we've got here in our buddy cup. Now I've only put the slightest amount of powder in the bottom of here, top it up with water, such vivid, potent colours, you only need a small amount. So picking up the fan brush, I'm going to use the yellow to start with. So just tap that over and you get some tiny little dots. So I always tap off first because I don't want them to be too large. And then we're going to use some of the, this is moss green. Just tap that around the edge there. And a little bit of the turquoise as well. And let's see what we've got. Doesn't actually look like there's much on there at all, but you'll be amazed at what what comes from that now. The colours are just so vivid. Okay, so plain multifarious card, I'm going to bob that over the top, smooth that over and let's see what we've got going on on our background. And there we go, beautiful greens and turquoise and yellow in that all that colour and you would never think it when you actually looked at that gel press a few seconds ago and that's what I mean by you only need a small amount of the brushos anything more and the colour is just going to get more and more intense and darker which is what you don't want we want to keep it quite light so I'm going to just dry that off It dries pretty quick anyway, with it being a water-based ink. There we go. Nice and quick. Okay, so taking our tree now, I'm going to ink this up. And this is another really detailed stamp. It took us a while just to get all the veins on the um, on the tree trunk here, all these tiny little lines, but we did master it in the end and I'm so glad because it just looks superb when it's stamped out. So bob that down, give that a good press, let it just rest on there. It's a massive stamp, so it needs it needs a good press, making sure that all that area is covered. And there we go. There we go. Okay. So 
Moving on, I'm going to take our finer paintbrush now and just start building up some colour around the edge, around the ends of the um, of the tree. So I'm going to take um, it's quite a nice dark deep blue. And this way it'll just make the tree stand out that much more. Treat these as like watercolours, watercolour paints. They're just so nice to work with. And we're going to use a little bit of the green. And you're just building that layer up. Just giving the tree some really nice depth, making it stand out. could just spend forever just adding those bits of colour, bits of depth, just they really make the image pop when you just pull it out and all it is is just building up that colour in the background there. Gives it such a an atmosphere, doesn't it? Okay. So I'm going to add a little bit of colour on the tree itself. Um, we will go with a little bit of green again. I'm going to keep to the centre of the tree, giving that a little bit of colour, almost kind of 3Ding it. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to use our little fairy hives. These are fab little tiny stamps and you'll see what they are when we stamp them out. So inking up, I'm just going to hang this one first. You can see where I'm going with this now, can't you? Our little fairy hives hanging from the branches. Their little houses. Okay. And then at the base of the tree, we're going to pick a couple of our hairs. Just to 
put down at the bottom finishing it off and one the other side like so Okay, so I'm going to use some of the words now just to go around the edge. Now if I want to go inside the circle, all I've got to do is tear, tear some paper. And just line that up. I'm not doing it exact but of course if you want to you know cut an actual circle you can do it that way as well so so I'm using warm breeze now so inking up I'm just going to bob And it just finishes it off really nicely now. I do like words in the background. And you never need the whole um, the whole verse. It's just a way of distressing the edge. Okay, so using our white pen now, I'm just going to highlight a few areas on the tree. Again, just following some of those lines and it will just make it stand out that much more again. You know it's really starting to look like a piece of artwork now. And let's just put a little bit of white in the windows there to make them stand out. Tiny, tiny little windows. So all we need to do now is a little bit of glitter. So taking the glue pen, I'm just going to bob a little bit of glitter around our little fairy hives just to give them a little bit of magic. And colour wise, uh, what colour shall we do? Um, we'll go with the, the blue and the green. The blue being the finer glitter. We're just going to sprinkle that over the top. And then you've got this fabulous coarse green glitter going through. And that's just enough you know just to give it a little bit of a sparkle without overdoing it
Well, thanks ever so much for watching and um, I really hope that you enjoyed watching me uh, demonstrate the new stamps today. I'm actually quite amazed that I've kept that border quite clean for me considering how my fingers are. <laughs> okay, thanks guys. Thanks for watching. See you again soon. Bye for now.